I'm Shan Tsai, the product manager for Oil Seeds and Pulses with Canterra Seeds. Uh, we, we've uh, recently added a new Clearfield product uh, to our lineup. Um, all the information available to us suggests that uh, it's, it's in uh, the same yield class as some of the other top selling uh, Invigor and Roundup Ready hybrids currently on the market, such as 5440, 7444. Uh, exceptional yield, uh, it's got a solid art of black leg very good lodging resistance uh, and in fact uh, its lodging resistance will likely be a very strong addition to uh, the Canterra seeds uh, lineup. Uh, the information that we've had and based on the field observations that we've made uh, suggests that the standability is going to be closer to a 1970 uh, rather than a 1990. Uh, maturity standpoint um, it'll be uh, comparable to um, other Clearfield products currently out there. Um, the, the information uh, we, we've seen suggests it'll be uh, probably uh, somewhere in between a 1990 and 1970 uh, for maturity. Um, it's not going to have that extreme maturity uh, like an L261, uh, but uh, certainly uh, uh, very, very close to uh, the other competitor Clearfields uh, like a 5525. Um, you can probably expect that it'll be about a day or so earlier than, than a 45H75. Um, from a disease standpoint, solid R to black leg, so it's got uh, great, great uh, black leg resistance. And of course, being clear field, uh, it, it uh, qualifies as non-GMO, and so it could potentially qualify for the non-GMO crush market. Um, from a, a yield uh, perspective, um, trial results are still coming in, and I would certainly encourage uh, everyone to uh, visit uh, uh, the, the Canterra website, uh, canterra.com, on the performance summary page, and then those results are being uh, posted um, almost on a daily basis. So uh, feel free to consult the website for for all the yield data. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.